Huh, hey, good morning, y'all. It's Tanini. I just wanted to get on here and count my blessings real quick. I went out and socialized last night. I went on a film set as an extra, and I had a great fucking time because every other person there was like this funny ass comedian, some like funny ass comedian, some who I've never met before, some who I've had run ins with, and they were all fantastic people. And like, I got to meet so many fascinating people in one night that I was really grateful. It's just like, you don't, it was funny as hell. I'm not going to say too much other than like, there in, <laughs> we were on the film set and let's just say we were told shit like hey get on stage and heckle the fuck out of this motherfucker and we had way too much fun doing that and <laughs> and oh my god Whew. it was a blast i had beer for the first time i still fucking hate it but it was like a less shitty one like it didn't make me instantly feel like my taste buds were curling up and dying and neither did the social interactions. I guess I left an impression on people. I just have to say, you don't know how good that feels after so long of like being down horrendous. You've seen, I like to also document my life so that people can know, even if it feels like your life is down horrendous, it's not always gonna be down horrendous. Like it's been so fucking bad in the past tense. Now it's feeling good because now it's like oh look i'm meeting new people i'm taking walks outside enjoying the sunlight while it's still here i'm hanging out with people who i've met once and we're having wonderful engaging conversations uh i have people over here in my corner i got people over there supporting me i'm meeting new friendly faces and also last night like people off the bat were super sweet to me they're like to me you are so gorgeous and oh my god i like this girl she's got these funny ass stories holy shit, she's amazing everything she says is funny and i was just like holy fucking shit. I have an effect on people? <laughs> and then even last night, as I was uh, drunk, <laughs> or at least tipsy, it was a different kind of drunk than wine drunk or tequila drunk or bourbon drunk. I kind of prefer those kinds. It was like the weird feeling where it's like, okay, I still can't fully focus. And I can still tell I'm more social and saying a lot more than I usually would. But like... I don't feel the burning sensation, the full body heat sensation. That's interesting. I will say that's interesting. It's good to know. I guess it's like beer, I think, has a lower alcohol content, I forget. But I will say, you don't know how good it feels to show up at an event with your natural afro and your natural hair and your natural personality and have people just saying that you're fucking gorgeous and stunning and that, like, you tell stories and they laugh their fucking ass off and they think you're hysterical and they want to keep talking to you like oh like just keep talking to you and they love your presence and they like yeah that felt and i felt heard i felt seen i felt listened to even this one girl she was like i really would stay here all night and just talk to y'all like you're all so amazing i love you but i gotta got work in the morning i gotta be up at seven for a meeting and it's like ah. I'm, I'm just happy that there's other people who feel that feeling with me and I just need to take a moment to just be grateful because I don't know sometimes I don't I'm, I'm a human like everyone else even when it sometimes doesn't feel like it but I'm very much human and I'm just trying to stay grounded in the present by just showing appreciation like wow I had a wonderful night. I met these funny ass people. One guy even wanted to set me up with his kid. He was like, hey, I have this son. He's like a professional bodybuilder and he's a physio scientist. And also on top of that, he does comedy. And on top of that, he's in a fucking uh, metal band as the lead guitarist. And I thought, why is your son, like I just openly said, why is your son the coolest fucking person alive? <laughs> like, holy shit. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, he's about your age. And it's like, okay, you know what? we can see how that goes it's like a part of me always gets a little nervous though if i am dating someone or seeing someone because then it's like especially if they have my social media or whatever because it's like there's some documented crash outs verbal and video logical whatever you'd say so it's always that awkwardness of are they gonna like me but considering i did like tell a story i told them the story on my youtube about that time the guy got his braces stuck in my coochie hairs and asked me to pet him like a dog and call him puppy during sex and he's they still were very much engaged with me and it seemed like he was still interested so hell yeah and he said i want to learn more about your life i want to learn more about the tam to midi to me lifestyle <laughs> sounds good to me
you don't know how good that feels and then even last night as i was just surrounded by the fire pit like talking to these people just like enjoying snacks and like just hanging out by the fire by a bunch of people who were really nice and interesting and treated me like i was interesting and nice and fun i was also getting notifications and i hardly get notifications either but i guess maybe it's a blessing in disguise that that one chick <laughs> tried to beat my ass because it's like on instagram suddenly i have like an extra like 300 followers or so and counting it's like i don't know I, it went from like i could have sworn my following was at like 945 but still like two likes a post to like out of nowhere i just woke up and it's like damn a thousand and fucking 20 and then i woke up the next day a thousand and fucking 40 like who are you people if you're here hello Mwah, i love you nice to meet you i hope you're gonna be nice and fun pleasant addition and then i checked my uh youtube i was like holy shit i hit 801 fucking subscribers that's amazing wow and then i guess because i posted my youtube link to my instagram i was like hey if anyone wants to know the full story behind the fight then like here we are <laughs> just to find out <laughs> And, and and now it's like 827 fucking subscribers on YouTube. It's like, holy fucking shit. Oh my God. And it's like, sometimes you just have to be like, I feel like that LeBron James me meme where it's like, oh, I'm smiling right now. I just can't believe my life. That's how I fucking feel. Just, oh my God. It's also just a bit surreal getting comments from people that aren't from like weird, horny old men who are kind of pedophilic. That feels so good to have comments that aren't just from like 12 year olds who want to shit on me for my looks or being a woman kind of. You know, that feels good. It feels good. Where it's like, holy shit, there's that. Because sometimes, like, I've just told myself, I'm going to make these videos and I'm going to yap, 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 yap. No one has to watch it, but frankly, you know what? I'm at the point where it's like quantity over quality. I'll make sure my words are quality. No one has to like the fact that in most of them, I'm just laying down like fucking half naked or like just fucking under my blankets, just having my little soapbox moment. And if, and I just kind of thought to myself, there's probably people out there who may never even watch these videos, but I'm going to talk anyway, because fuck it. And it's just like, it's wild. I don't know how to explain this because it's like I don't even remember how long ago it was when I thought holy shit 100 subscribers 50 subscribers 50 people want to listen to me talk and now it's like 825 people actively want to listen to me talk and then not even just that you'll leave people like you you'll leave really sweet comments which like like girl you're interesting as fuck and very engaging and refreshing it's like oh my god I love you oh my god mm, I wish I could just hug you Oh, I love everybody so much. And then it'll... My favorite is when someone leaves, like, huge paragraphs. And I know, like, I don't know if anyone is going to be an asshole and decide I'm going to specifically leave a huge paragraph of hate to troll to me. If you did, fuck it. That would still boost it to the algorithm, pussy. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Focusing on the positives. I doubt anyone would... If anyone did waste their time doing that, I would still be flattered. It's like, aw. Someone hated me enough to do that? <laughs> but i'm just saying whenever i get a huge paragraph where someone's like hey i actually really love this video topic and this is my experience with this or this or that i love it i don't always get notifications on youtube so if i don't reply to you it's either because i'm usually crashing out somewhere else or i'm focusing on like another goal or sometimes youtube just doesn't give me notifications and that's the crappy thing too sometimes i will be like oh i'm gonna I'm gonna reply to this person later tonight and then I'll somehow go the whole day doing a whole bunch of everything and maybe even sometimes nothing and then I'll be like oh fuck ah wait I'm supposed to reply to that person and then it'll be like weeks before I actually remember shit I was supposed to reply to this person on YouTube not like that matters anyway I'm just letting you know I'm not ignoring you I truly love every single paragraph every single sweet comment even the hate comments sometimes y'all are funny <laughs> ah, and just oh my god it feels good so like I said, you don't know how good it feels to be sat around a campfire, natural hair, just socializing it up with my natural personality, feeling fantastic, meeting people who seemed aligned with what I want and just awesome. And then on top of that, just the joy and bliss of like, as that's happening, I was getting tons of notifications that I had never before on my YouTube gotten of people like sending laughing emojis saying, girl, you're funny as fuck. You're interesting. You're refreshing. We love you. You're awesome. And it's like, oh my God. 
I don't know. Sometimes something can happen where it's like sometimes I get so overwhelmed with love and emotion that it's like a part of me feels almost guilty. I don't know how to explain that. Where it's like I feel so much happiness and I'm like I have so much good energy in me. I don't want it to get to my head and get super like ego filled or narcissistic or feel like I'm making something out of nothing. Something just happens in me and I'm not entirely sure why but sometimes something really good happens and I think to myself, do I really deserve this? Is this really as good as I think I fucking deserve, you know? And I'll, or like, not even that. It's not me so much thinking, do I deserve to be happy? It's me being like, I don't know. I guess if I had to explain it, it kind of happens on dates with me too. Sometimes I'll go on a date with someone that's so good and I feel so good of energy that like this recent guy I went on a date with, it was such a fantastic date. He got me a bracelet that I had wanted for months. He got me amazing flowers. We had wonderful conversations. We did an escape room, a fancy dinner. We sat in the park as someone like played a guitar melodically as we just rested our heads on each other's shoulders wearing matching sweaters. We had a wonderful time. And then after that date and how romantic our kiss was, I felt on top of the moon. But sometimes my brain can do this thing where it's like, I need to harness this energy and think about it nonstop and let it totally over consume me and obsess over it because I feel like nothing in my life will be quite as good going forward. That's a scary feeling to be feeling so good. But if part of your brain gets depressed at the exact same time, where it's like, if I savor the moment too hard, I feel like I'm doing too much. Or if I don't savor it enough, I feel like I'm ungrateful. Or maybe I do savor it too much, but then it's like me spoiling the good vibes and ruining the moment for myself by not just like letting it come and pass without needing to address it so openly and analyzing why it was so good. And then next thing you know, I'm just brought back to reality of, okay, it's over. I killed the sweetness of the moment by talking about it. Or I overly talked about it. And now it's just like something that other people are going to be annoyed by. Maybe I'm annoying myself about it. I don't know. But yeah, so sometimes even after a fantastic date, I can get like extremely morbidly depressed and just want to lie in bed all day just repaying the memory in my head. I don't know why I'm saying this, but I guess it's just something I want to say. Because maybe that's happening to me even right now. A part of me is like, am I dragging this out? But it just happened. I should be happy, shouldn't I? Shouldn't I? Why do I feel like crying? Maybe it's because I also smashed my hands a bit ago, so I'm feeling a little emotional. But I'll just say this, because I still want to remember it. Whenever I'm sad, I just need to remember I will have a moment like that again. Because first Fridays came and passed. I had a great time. I remember I was like, I don't know. I should just stay inside and not do shit. But instead, I hit up a buddy of mine who I knew wasn't doing shit. I was like, let's go. Let's do it. You know you want to. Let's have a good time. And we went out. We danced. We sung in the street. I got a little too wasted. I got drunk and fucking crashed out on a fucking lime scooter. Uh, and I had some pretty good fun and foods. And I even got a nice new dress out of it that I have to wear somewhere because my date was very sweet enough to get it for me. $85 for that dress. I'm going to show you the dress just because it's like, fuck it. Like, just one second. It's one of those dresses where it's like, I thought it was cute, but was I just drunk? It's like, it's, you'd have, the color is great. This is a, I might wear this to like a sexy Thanksgiving. It's kind of like a Bridgerton style. It's got massive hips and like a leg pussy slit. I'm kind of confused by it, but like, I'm not mad at it. It's just like when I saw the dress, I thought it would be like a normal maxi dress, like straight down with a bit of a elastic form fitting waist thingy. But then the halter neck is kind of awkward and the, and the. And the and the and the pussy slit and the and the massive hips that look like I'm from the Regents not even the Regency era, but like some Marie Antoinette era type shit. I'm not mad at it, you know, it's like uh, I said I wanted the dress that showed off my waist and my neck and make my hips look good and showed off my legs. It it's it it, it achieves all of those things just in an unconventional way. I'm still grateful. Eighty five fucking dollars and I didn't have to pay for it. God bless to the guy who did. We love him. He's Well, not really. I mean, we love him in the platonic. We love that he did that. He's so fantastic and he's a sweet fellow and we had a great time. I don't know. Do you ever just kind of like a weird sort of feeling like, ah, 
I, this moment is so good and I don't want to let the sensation pass, but I know I need to so I can further enjoy all the other beauty that life has to offer. And even when I don't know when it's going to happen next, I still am going to appreciate it fully. And I guess sometimes that makes me sad because if I'm forced to feel the fullness of an emotion, it kind of feels like it's going to pass faster, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know, like kind of like imagine you're at Six Flags and then you zone out as you're at Six Flags because you're just thinking, oh no, so we're going to go home soon and this is going to end. But you force yourself to stay grounded in the moment of you like on the rides, eating funnel cake, this, this and that, despite knowing it's not going to last forever. You're still trying to save that feeling, you know, and that's how I felt last night. And I had a great time and I savored quite well. And then afterwards, I'm sure you, like, imagine you're a kid, you get back home from Six Flags, and now you're just slapped back to reality. Or you're an adult who just got back from Barbados, and now you're on vacation, and you're forced to do two things. You can either, one, nonstop think about Barbados, like, to the point where you overconsume yourself in it and kind of hate your job even worse now because it's not fucking the clear waters and fresh fruit of Bar Barbados, you know? Or, two, you could, like slowly drift like you could savor the memory of Barbados but still kind of force yourself to be like yes that was wonderful I'm grateful let's go on to like what we can do today to make this day sweet and then there's the deep end where it's like you entirely try to force Barbados out of your mind and you don't show gratitude for it because you're like fuck it it's over why should I care now I'm trying to be in the middle because it's like nah I like I want a peaceful transition from yesterday to today and so far so good like, so I'm just saying, last night was euphoric and felt like a warm hug and like, I wish you were there to see it. I was glowing, I was happy, and everybody loved me. And you don't know how good it feels for someone who's been struggling as hard as I have. I've documented all of that shit. You know how I've been struggling. To just finally have a night where it's like, hey, look, you you were having a bad time next thing you know you're being called beautiful even with your natural hair and not so much jewelry on and you're being called gorgeous and smart and funny and engaging and people are rushing and dying to talk to you and staying around super late even when they have work early in the morning just because they still want to get to know you they're desperate to get your social media and to talk to you more and do this and do that because they fucking love and adore you and you made people smile and that I want to cry because that makes me feel so good. And then even when I don't want to, I'm not trying to gloat. It's just like, wow, I had a night where everybody fucking loved me and made me feel like I was the star of the show. Like I was the main character that they were just like flocking to. <gasps> Sorry. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm crying because I just think that's really beautiful. You don't know how badly I needed that. <laughs> And then on top of that, whew, even as I was in my little tipsy euphoric state of like, wow, I'm just finally feeling happy for the longest time in a while. It really severely liked. Then I also got messaged by someone who likes me even regardless of my flaws. And they made it clear, like, I, I, ever since we met, the only thing I've been thinking about is our first kiss. And it doesn't matter what happened. And I understand your emotions are high lately because you've been going through so so much and it doesn't matter because I like you and they and they sent me a wonderful sweet text at that moment and then also in that moment I got um notifications from you lovely people <laughs> just saying that you appreciate my videos you'll send me paragraphs and borderline essays which I love I love those so much, I do. I reread them over and over and sometimes I feel so overwhelmed with glee that like I said, I will just reread them over and over and over because I appreciate it so much that I'll even forget to respond because I'll just be for hours like, ah, this person loved this. They've stayed for the whole video and <sighs> that's so sweet. <sighs> yeah, and um, yeah. Ah, sorry, I'm trying not to cry, I'm not, but I'm just, wow, you know, I just really can't believe I'm finally happy again. Things got dark recently, so, and like I said, yeah, all that was happening, and I was just getting notifications from people just saying I was beautiful, smart, funny, refreshing, interesting, vivacious, and I just thought everything is aligning in my favor. 
I feel deserving of it and it feels good. It's just like, wow, it came with such a rush and so quickly that I don't know how to feel, but I feel grateful. So yeah, um, thank you. If you're if someone who's new or someone who's been here for a while, I just want to say thank you. Because, and if you're someone who was around last night or around recently, thank you so much. I'm really grateful. It means a whole lot to me to just... I needed to feel this way. And also if you're like, oh, how's Tamir going to be doing after this video? I'm going to be doing well, don't worry. I had more blessings came overnight even. Like, it was the first time I went to sleep without any issues at a reasonable hour and I got a full eight hours of sleep and that's a blessing. That hasn't been happening for a while. It's also why I've been passing out more. And, uh... I have food in my stomach and a little bit of caffeine in my system and some snacks. I, I did some like mild home repair stuff that I needed to do a second ago and I feel great. And I'm probably gonna watch like casino and like organize my emotions and also you're like also hell I was doing really well just the last two days. I don't know if you've noticed usually the top of my everything is messy but it's getting less messy. I organize my books and my fancy lotions and my body scrubs, dental supplies, jewelry, all that, because I just thought I want to make my life consistently good, even without relying on other people. I just feel honored that it's like I'm finally at the point where it's like I finally am meeting my people. I'm meeting people who are perfect for me, and that feels wonderful. So like I said, thank you very much. I made this video because I wanted to show that I feel gra uh, gr grateful. <laughs> God, I love you so much, and that even if it doesn't, like even if... Just know, even if I don't reply to your comment or like your comment, sometimes I just don't see it. But when I do, it could be some people, I could just be like, holy shit, this person's been messaging me for a year. Holy shit, I didn't know they were commenting on all my videos this whole time. I wish I got notifications for it. But just know, I will have such a visceral feeling of joy just come into my heart and soul that sometimes it gets overwhelming and paralyzing. So if I'm not responding to you, that's just because I'm struck with love, baby. Don't worry. I appreciate you. Life's good. I already know what I'm going to do next today, and I'm going to make sure I have a good day just for you and also just for me. All right, take care of yourselves. Love you. Bye.